have a pot time with this candle. Okay, so. Do you feel like your periods just be like really overwhelming sometimes? Like, you know. Like, you know. When it's just like. Just floated inside of you. Or, you know, sometimes you just really have to just like. You know. You ever just like play with yourself? <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I'm just saying like. You be having to push it out because sometimes you have to, like, instead of, like, stuff going in, is you got to flush it out. I know it sounds weird and I may be sounding crazy, but I'm just saying. It's just like one of these scandals that it might that sound crazy, but it be having to be done to, like, flush your system because... I don't feel like you're supposed to wear tampons and things that stuff it inside of you and like stop your period. It need to come out of you. Like all of this stuff is supposed to come out of you. <laughs> so it's like you have to find ways like to like get it out of you. But not with anything going in you. Just naturally flushing water, all that. Like you know, there's nothing wrong with you know, I like when I have a baby, like when I have a child, like I'm gonna teach my child like how to clean herself. Like, you know, I'm gonna remember like the time when I had my period, like around, I had my period when I was like 11, my first period when I was like 11. And nobody was really there for me, like to teach me about my period. Like I didn't really learn about my period, really how to really deal with it more. As, to like as I grew up, like until like my my twenties, like you know, and then I just researched more. It's just like I just know it's supposed to be flushed out. Like I take on my period, I take like fucking like freaking eight baths a day. Like you know, I just splash my vagina like and just watch it come out, just push it out like. You know what I'm saying? Like, shower, shower. Because I change my pad. Like, I wear a pad. But I know, like, maybe pads are nasty or whatever. Like, some people think that they stink. But I change them continuously. And I take baths continuously. Like, when you're a person, like, like, when you're a person on the road or you at work, like, you know, you have a job. Okay, that's your, you know, you need to make sure you clean yourself for the day. Make sure, you know, when you in the bathroom, like, make sure you have, like, paper towels. Like, I like paper towels. I don't really like cotton nail wipes like that. Like, all these different wipes because they have chemicals in them. I like paper towels and I put some water on it. And, you know, and I wipe myself with it. You know, I, I go really kind of, I go down. Like, I make the water drip down on it. And then, like, you know, I pat it, like, the inside not the inside kind of but i tap it and i make sure like the front of me is clean first and then i do the back of me separately because i don't wipe anything into each other but i make sure i'm clean and i stink like and i change my stuff and then when i go home i make sure like you know periods are nasty like we we can't do nothing about it like you know it is what it is but the stuff got to come out of you. Like, you need to not be around people so much when you're on your period. You need to not be nasty. You need to make sure, like, you have your time with Mother Nature. You know what I'm saying? It's like your time, like, you know what I'm saying, with you in the world, like, and your flushing pattern. Like, you need to flush yourself properly and all that, you know. But I'm just saying, like, because... I be cramp like you go through cramps like all sorts of things like some people like their periods are slow some people have slow periods like me I have ugh. my shit is my period is like trauma like I even like I got hit with a bus like for real. my first day when it comes I be feeling it coming like uh oh like this time I was like uh oh it's here and then boom it's just like 
I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to see you. I don't want to. I don't care if I love you. I could love you. You could be the dearest person in my life. I don't want to talk to nobody. Like I just be wanting me by myself in a toilet. It is what it is. <laughs> like me in the toilet is like the best of friends and some bud. Like freak that. But it's just the scandals with it, and just keep flushing yourself. Just keep flushing. Just keep drinking water. Like, you know, monitor your body. Make sure you take baths. Like, I like baths with just the splashing ones. Like, I squat. I don't sit in the tub of blood. I squat and I splash myself. Or, like, I'm in the shower and I, you got to open your butt cheeks. And you just let the water just flow. Your watch it just flow out of you. Just let it flow. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, move around. Make yourself, like not really pay attention to it sometimes when the cramps are coming make yourself like get off that type of focus you know what i'm saying or like move around for it to come out more because when you take too much aspirin like let's talk about the aspirin like tylenol advil all these different things motrin these things mess up your lining when you take too much of it at a time you know, I'm saying you could take two, but make sure you eat something. And then you take two when later, and that's it, though. But you still have to eat something. Don't, don't do this unlike any type of empty stomachs because your lining will be terribly messed up. And you're going to have to figure it out. You know, you're going to have to make it better, especially if you're a person who drinks liquor or anything. I don't drink liquor, but I know when you drink liquor, it messes up your lining. So you'll mess it up even more. If you drinking liquor, you know, messing up your body system flow. But that said, I hope y'all have a good day. You know, like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Love y'all.